has always been the need and must in many of our shooting sports, be they gel ball, nerf, or airsoft. Now, the argument of whether or not, you know, you need an optic and airsoft has been a long debated topic for years to come and years to go. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about an optic that actually is, ironically enough, from a company that claims that it's able to hold zero so you can use it on not just your real steel but also your airsoft gun and optics that have been able to hold zero and be used on both platforms is something that's been argued about a lot with brain exploder even making a video talking about why he uses real steel optics on his airsoft guns and you know why you should too so it was no surprise when Pitney, this company that, uh, again, makes these optics, or at least partners up to make these optics affordable and be able to do it, uh, came about and, st and started contacting a lot of airsofters to get their opinions on their optics. And, well, ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about the Hiram Micro Red Dot and Riser. And, to be honest, for an optic that's, about sub f that's around the $40 price tag, I'm actually pretty impressed with how well this has actually held out. It has 11 brightness settings. It has a riser, which, uh, you know, you can put whatever optic you want on there. Uh, I may use the riser sometime to actually do, you know, just that. But again, it's one of those things of, I have this, I used it, but I tested this as best as humanly possible. So, the first test I did was, of course, with a 50 caliber AE Desert Eagle. So, supposedly, the company who sent me this claims that this is able to hold zero on anything. Challenge accepted. Exactly. So we're going to let you put on probably your most strongest handgun ever. Well, his most strongest, yeah. Yeah. This is definitely the most powerful semi-auto. Uh-huh. The question is, can it fit? No, I can't. Just had to... All right, then. Red dot is on. Tiring. Yep, just make sure it's in view of the camera. And uh, whenever you're ready, safety's on. Can't find it. There it is. Oh! Yeah, that's loud. Would you, would you like some hair protection? What? <laughs> Would you like some hearing protection? Step this down. You, um, ever went through one of those, uh, well, you've seen the movies where, um, like the guy gets nearly blown up and it's just ringing constantly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Can't hear shit. Yep. <laughs> Pops, you got your, uh. I'm going to put my fingers in my ear. No. <clears throat> Right. Range Ooh. is hot. Shooter when ready. Ah! Hot. Somebody's <laughs> calling somebody. That'd be me. If it had a magnification, man, I would love it. All right then, well, let's check that the, down too. Let's, let's check the optic at least, just kind of. Well, it came loose. It came loose. Okay, so. Well, this came loose anyways. It, I don't think it. Well. Slip my eye. Well, you didn't screw it down with a screwdriver either. True. Well, uh, there's no cracks, no discernible anything really. That that held up to 50 AE. That's a, uh, I'd say that's a good uh, little uh, little optic to put on your uh, 50 yeah. AE. The thing still held zero, and when I knew that it would hold zero even from a 50 AE Desert Eagle, I decided what the hell, might as well take it out to Sector 9 and see how she holds up.
Let's see. And again, I was pleasantly surprised. And yes, this did hold zero. This did, I didn't even have to adjust it all that much. And the setting I had it on the Desert Eagle actually held true for the settings for the airsoft gun. So I didn't really adjust it all that much. It does come with an adjustment tool, which I only used once. And that's it. And like I said, it does have 11 brightness settings. However, I only used the ninth brightness setting. Uh, it's a red dot, not any other color. And it is built up pretty well. I've dropped it. I've done everything I can to try and make the zero go away. It would not lose its zero. And I'm not going to lie when I say that. I probably will use this for a lot of builds. And probably try to replicate a lot of builds. That or I'll just paint the sucker into a chrome color. And, make, and use it on, of course, my cyberpunk build. But what I will say is that... It's actually a really good micro red dot. Now, granted, micro red dots are not everyone's cup of tea, and I completely understand that and completely get it. And understand now that they're not paying me at all. But what they do have, of course, is a partner link down below, as well as the product link as well. Now, again, I'm not a usual fan of micro red dots, but this one actually won me over, and I'm not going to lie. But again, whether or not you want to use this is completely up to you, my viewers, and you, the consumer. Would you want to spend the price tag this thing's asking? Well, again, check links down below. As for me personally, again, I've got no negative things on it. It held up, still holds up, and I'm going to keep using it until the battery dies and I have to get another battery for it. Which uses essentially the same watch battery that you have for your watch, or for your wristwatch. Mine died, sadly, so, yeah, there's that. But, either way, though, thank you all so very much for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al, and uh, if you want to buy this yourself, then comment down below to where you can get this little micro red dot. And, of course, our many other partner links, as well as the links down below you can use to help to, to help support the channel directly or sponsor future reviews. Thank you all so very much for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al, and I shall see all you lovely, lovely people in the next video. Till next time. Later.